I remember when I was little and I had some sort of like physical or emotional pain. My parents would say, if there was some way that I could do this for you, if there was some way that I could take your pain and transfer it to me so that you didn't have to endure it, I would do that. And my thought process as a kid was somewhere along the lines of <laughs> bullshit. Now I'm a parent and I get it. We took Colin to an ears, nose, and throat doctor because he was making this sound, this clearing his throat, this thing constantly. Like in a, in a it wasn't normal, right? You know, he was doing it all the time. And uh, we were like, what's up with him? You know, what's going on? Is this a bad habit? Is this um, like some sort of sickness? Like, you know, is it like a Tourette's thing? Like, we didn't know. We're like, what's the deal here? And uh, he looks him over and says that the kid is just like chronically dealing with like sinus infections and such and he needs to have his tonsils out now as far as surgeries go having tonsils removed is pretty routine right you know accountants can do 1040s and surgeons can remove tonsils and neither of them break a sweat while they're at it still i'm really aware of the fact that he's going to be enduring some pain like i'm really aware of the fact that he's going to go through this and i have this fear that he has like a limited understanding why he has to go through it compared to you know like what you would have you know you would be like yeah i have been sick i can't wait for this to stop i don't know how easy it will be to explain to colin why he's having to go through this i don't know how scared he's going to be on surgery day because it's not as easy to inform him of you know what's going on this day and uh i wish i could do it for him I wish that uh, I wish that he didn't have to have his tonsils out, which you know, like I get. Look, in, in terms of of the overall scheme of things that can happen, right? He'll be fine, but um, it is a little worse for Colin than it would be like for you, because you know you can't easily explain to him like, oh, you're gonna get this, and you're gonna have some ice cream, and in four days from now or seven days from now, you're gonna feel a whole lot better, and you're gonna stop getting sick, and things are gonna be okay. But uh, sometime in September, he's going to go under the knife, and uh, and I'm going to feel horrible. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to have a rotten, rotten day. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to keep spirits high and, and not transfer, uh, you know, the kind of scared that, that we might have to him. But uh, the, the kind of fright, I guess I should say. But just the same, it's um, it's coming, and uh, hopefully, you know, we're making the right decision. But I thought I'd keep you guys in the loop because this is Team Gamer Tag. That's what we do. All right. If you like the video, be sure to click on like. Two vids you may have missed. The left one was kind of a follow-up from Mail Monday about, you know, being proud of yourself. And uh, the right one was Wife Wednesday, which I thought was really cool. I like the pacing and, and fun in it. So check those out. If you're new around here, you click subscribe in the top right blue box and have a good day.